Hello YouTube, I hope you guys are all doing very well. Thank you guys for joining me in today's video. I really do hope you guys are having a good one. And in today's video guys, we're gonna be talking about an issue that's happening right now on Modern Warfare 3. And I think it's getting fixed as I'm making this video because the official Call of Duty updates channel on X or Twitter has addressed this, but we're gonna be jumping into all of that right now. If you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, I would really appreciate if you guys can drop me a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, Modern Warfare 3 2023 is now out on Game Pass obviously microsoft bought call of duty and a bunch of other activision owned ips and studios last year or i think this year actually and well they finally started integrating call of duty onto game pass now call of duty uh black ops 6 is actually coming to game pass on day one but they decided to drop modern warfare 3 with season 5. so with that there was actually some huge issues because i guess from what I'm reading, these hacks um, are interesting. The anti-cheat system RicoChat is kind of um, a bad system from what I've been reading and it's kind of a terrible system. First things first, this is a multi-billion dollar company. Actually, I would say trillion because Microsoft is now owned by, uh, is now worth a trillion dollars. And the fact that they're letting this kind of happen is kind of interesting because you think that they'd put a lot more money and effort into having a great anti-cheat system. I just seen on the internet that RicoChat is like one of the worst systems but I digress now going back to it players are using hacks to gain an advantage in the game such as aimbots and wall hacks and I guess this has been happening for a while now but it just started being amplified recently with especially the game dropping on game pass now these hacks are typically used by PC players, but those are that are playing on PC via Games Pass are identified as Xbox players in multiplayer lobbies. Uh, the official Call of Duty updates channel has issued a statement, and if you guys want to read it, it'll be on the screen. I personally don't really want to read it because I mean it's kind of pointless, but uh, I guess it is kind of fixed. But I guess for PS5, you can turn off uh, crossplay. And I'm not the I, I'm not so sure about doing that on Xbox. I think you can, but when it comes to Game Pass, I think there is some limitation to that. I don't think you can turn it off. Um, that's from what I've seen. I again, I don't know how everything works, but um, I just wanted to talk about it today because wow, this is interesting. There are some clips going around. This is the only one I seen, and it was on some subreddit. Um, some guy's swimming, and then he gets beamed through the floor, which. I mean, hacks have always been in Call of Duty. I mean, look back at Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1. Like, dude, you can't go back to those games right now because of how bad they are with cheaters. I mean, you can find a genuine lobby here and there, but for people like me on PS3, like I have my PS3, I have Modern Warfare 2, I have Black Ops 1, and I can't boot it up because there's hackers and I don't want to get anything literally hacked. And it's sad that they focus on the newer games. I think Call of Duty is just not trying to focus on the past anymore. The games that actually made their franchise to what it is now. But I don't know, man. One day, maybe they'll look back and fix those servers or maybe fix the issues on PS3 and Xbox. Because there are genuine people that go back and play. Um, I'm one of those people. But other than that, guys, that's going to have to wrap it up today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.